Welcome to our channel, food lovers. In previous video, we showcased nine of the Michelin star and Bib Gourmand Vietnamese restaurants. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of Michelin recommended Vietnamese restaurants right here in the California. We're going on a culinary journey from North to South California to uncover the hidden gems and the shining stars of Vietnamese cuisine. Get ready for explosive flavors, fresh ingredients, and cooking techniques that have been passed down for generations. We're not just looking at the fancy plates, though. We'll be checking what the people think, digging into those Yelp reviews, TripAdvisor ratings, and those Google reviews everyone seems to trust these days. So buckle up, you food lovers. Get ready for a wild ride through the best Vietnamese restaurants this side of the Pacific. You might want to grab a bib because things are about to get delicious. First up, we're heading to the heart of Silicon Valley, Palo Alto, California, home to Tamarine Restaurant and Gallery. Owners Tammy Huynh and Tanya Huynh Hartley have infused the menu with California produce and have crafted delectable cocktails for perfect pairing. It's been wowing diners for years with its sophisticated take on Vietnamese classics. Tamarine has long been a Palo Alto standby for its refined take on Vietnamese food that doesn't sacrifice authentic flavor. There's nearly always a corporate lunch happening in the private dining room, and techies, families, and couples alike fill the rest of its linen top tables. Family-style sharing of dishes is encouraged, which is good because deciding on just one entree is nearly impossible. To start, make like the regulars and order one of the Tamarine Taste appetizer platters with a round of tropical fruit-infused cocktails. Then move on to the fresh shrimp spring rolls full of bean sprouts and mint, the springy ginger chili seitan with steamed coconut rice, and curried long beans sauteed with fragrant macrut lime leaves and chili. We're talking melt-in-your-mouth grilled lemongrass sea bass, fragrant shaking beef with melt-in-your-mouth beef and a hint of spicy from pepper, and a caramelized clay pot cod that will blow your bloody mind. Don't forget to leave room for some banana beignets, a crispy donut-type pasty with a banana-stuffed center that consistently impresses diners. And the reviews, they're through the roof. Yelp gives them a solid 4.5 stars, with customers raving about the impeccable service and stunning presentation. TripAdvisor echoes the sentiment with a 4.5 rating, praising the elegant ambiance and authentic flavors. Google users agree, awarding Tamarine an impressive 4.6 stars for its consistently exceptional dining experience. Tamarine sets the bar high, proving that Vietnamese cuisine deserves a seat at the fine dining table. And believe me, this is just the beginning. We've got a lot more culinary adventures ahead. Next, we're riding the wave down to sunny San Diego, California, where Kingfisher is making a splash with its modern Vietnamese fare. The indoor-outdoor space is in Golden Hill, looking west over East Village and downtown. It's the gray box around the corner from the Cricket Wireless store, an elegant improv of a space lined in brass. French Asian food gave the world one of its best sandwiches, banh mi, which combines French liver pâté with Vietnamese pickled veggies. At Kingfisher, you see the connection in the beef tartare, a French Polynesian classic. The smoked duck is the marquee entree that sells out every night, dry-aged for two weeks, glazed with palm sugar and pepper, sliced out on a massive dish with enough salty sweet meat to feed four. The diver scallops are tragically good, lightly poached in salt water, then served in a broth made of pineapple juice and fish sauce. That combo sounds like a prank, but break down the elements, sweet, salty, acidic. And that's the formula for most perfect dishes on the planet. A dish of roasted eggplant shines on a duo of sauces, a vegan seaweed mushroom XO sauce and vegan demi. The biggest hit of the menu though is the porridge, Bautista's congee, Asian grits, a humble dish that many remember eating their whole lives, but never like this. At the risk of offending moms the world over, Bautista's does what some of the best restaurants do. Take a dish you have an emotional connection with and make it better than you ever remembered. His rice porridge is topped with chanterelles, crispy garlic, garlic chives, egg yolk for richness, and house-made sambal. Mix it up. It's soul-resuscitating stuff. For dessert, Bautista does a riff on a silky jiggler almost every culture has a version of, flan. Mexican versions tend to be heavy, with condensed milk. The Vietnamese version is light, with Filipino flan right in the middle. 
Kingfisher's Vietnamese coffee flan splits the difference between the latter two, resting the custard in a pool of coffee syrup with a quenelle of Malden salt miso cream. Light and dark in the same bite. Yelp gives them a roaring 4.5 stars. Google users award Kingfisher a solid 4.6 stars. They're pushing boundaries and winning hearts, one dish at a time. Next up, we're heading to sunny Huntington Beach, California, home to LSXO. A Michelin restaurant, LSXO is an intimate 28-seat restaurant secretly hidden within blue gold behind an unmarked door. Offering home-style Vietnamese cuisine, LSXO is a love letter to the culture, heritage, and lineage of Vietnam. Located at Pacific City, LSXO, a concept within a concept inside Blue Gold at Pacific City, is the brainchild of Chef Tin Vo Ong of Black House Hospitality. Cuisine is inspired by District 1 in Saigon, where Tin's family hails from, and dishes range from more traditional to innovative amongst a stunning hideaway overlooking the Huntington Beach Pier. First up, you have to try their Goi Du Du, green papaya salad, Viet beef jerky, peanuts, chili lime bin at $23. The papaya salad hit the spot, giving up a bevy of sour, spicy, savory notes bound by the funky, fermenty flavors of fish sauce. Next up, try beef tartare. Viet herbs, fried aromatics, quail egg, lobster rice crackers cost $21. The classic beef tartare was given a Vietnamese update to great effect. The beef itself ate soft and springy and displayed just the right amount of sweetness, herbaceousness, and lingering spice fantastic textural contrast from the rice crackers, too. Want to impress your date? Go ahead and order Cool Runnings for $33. The drink is a mix of rum, elix, pineapple, allspice, lime, cognac, passion fruit. This is a large format drink meant to be shared and came with some tableside theatrics. It was a thick, tropical, tiki-ish commixture for sure, loaded with sweet spice and nary a trace of booze. If you want something light but flavorful, try Bun Tom Thit Nuong Cha Gio Charbroiled Pork, Shrimp and Egg Roll over Vermicelli. Condiments. The dish is $28. A take on the iconic boon Thit Nung went over well. The noodles were somewhat snappier, firmer than usual, and worked beautifully as a base for the various toppings, with the zippy, sourish Nook Jam working to tie it all together. If you're a carnivore, try Shaky Shaky Beef, LSXO's version of Ba Luke Schlack Watercress Baby Tomatoes, Burnt Butter Soy with Tomato, which is a better iteration thanks to the tenderness of the beef. Make sure to dip it in the super zippy sauce provided. And the garlic fried rice is an excellent on the side. The dish is $38. Want to impress everyone with your in the know? Ask for the off-menu lobster fried rice. It's a flavor bomb that'll blow your socks off. LSXO is a must-try for anyone looking for an elevated Vietnamese dining experience. With rave reviews across Yelp, TripAdvisor, and Google, it's clear that this place is a cut above the rest. Don't miss out! Get yourself down there and taste the magic for yourself! All right, food lovers, listen up! We're heading to Garden Grove, California, home to Garlic and Chives by Kristen. This place is an absolute gem serving up some of the most authentic and delicious Vietnamese food you'll ever taste. Kristen, the chef, is a bloody genius in the kitchen. She takes traditional Vietnamese dishes and elevates them to a whole new level. It takes one glance at the expansive menu to realize that, though this is Vietnamese food, there's influences from all over Asia. You'll eat pomelo salad, a citrus and shrimp-filled dish that's typically found in Thai cuisine, Sichuan-style toothpick lamb we'd put up against the best in San Gabriel Valley, and a plate of shaken beef that left us, well, shaking. Now, before I forget, if you're enjoying this culinary journey so far, give this video a bloody thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. We've got more mouth-watering adventures to come. Now, back to garlic and chives. Wide-ranging menus often lead to meals that feel disconnected, but not at garlic and chives. Every dish here feels intertwined and purposeful. Whether it's deep-fried salmon belly with an addictive house-dipping sauce or a giant crab roasted with enough garlic to ward off a lifetime of vampires. When dishes have the intense, complex flavors as they do here, nothing feels out of place or added simply to compete with every other restaurant in town. 
If it's on the menu at here, it's meant to be ordered. Pomelo salad. This is one of those salads you eat and immediately wonder why other salads taste so bad. A mix of pomelo, similar to grapefruit, shrimp, pork, banana blossom, mint, and peanuts, this is one of the most refreshing and complex salads we've ever eaten. Make this the first thing that hits your table. Deep fried salmon belly. This isn't going to be a dish that immediately jumps off the menu, but you should definitely order it. It's great to share with a group, and the garlic batter it's fried in lays the groundwork for what's going to be a very garlic heavy meal. Roasted garlic crab. This is the house specialty, and what most people come to garlic and chives to eat. While the crab meat itself is absolutely excellent, it's important to note that this is a very big dish, and one that usually tops out above $70 depending on market price. Trust me, you'll be licking the plate clean. We're in Westminster, the capital of Vietnamese food in America. In the last video, we talked about the Michelin Bib Gourmand Fur 79. There's another Vietnamese restaurant that deserves a Michelin star in my book, and it's called Fur Holic. This place is all about one thing and one thing only, fur. And let me tell you, they've bloody mastered it. Their broth is the star of the show. Simmered for hours with the finest bones, spices, and herbs, it's the kind of broth that'll warm your soul. And the meat? Forget about it. Tender, flavorful, and cooked to perfection. It's a classic shop that attracts everyone from grandparents to Gen Zers, all here to partake in the beef-focused fur. Though the prices are gentle, the kitchen never skimps, using only high-quality products. Diners take their pick of noodle style and meat from the beginners and adventurers menus, then wait for the large metal bowls of steaming comfort to arrive. Fur Holic is better known for offering huge beef bones and oxtail bones on the side. They usually come in pairs and can be cut with scissors. For any lovers of beef ribs, the beef bones are a must try. Fur Holic is a testament to the power of simplicity done right. There often has a long line of people waiting outside in its parking lot. The parking lot is compact, and it's easier to find street parking by the nearby school or across the street. So plan accordingly. With rave reviews across Yelp, TripAdvisor, and Google, it's clear that this place is a local favorite. So if you're ever in Southern California and you're craving some beef-based fur, you know where to go. You can find out more about the Michelin Bib Gourmand Fur 79 in our previous video, The Top 9 Michelin Star Vietnamese Restaurants in America. Well, there you have it, you bunch of hungry foodies. A culinary tour of some of the best Michelin-recommended Vietnamese restaurants in California. From the classic flavors of Furholic to the modern creations of Kingfisher, there's something for everyone on this list. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button harder than I yell at a chef who overcooked the scallops. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future culinary adventures. Leave a comment on what restaurant you like to see. Now go on, get out of here and go try some of these amazing restaurants. And for God's sake, tell them Ramsey sent you.